In this video, I'm going to be breaking down what are the new concepts that we've seen in Bunch that's actually really effective at attacking man coverage, zone coverage, as well as the blitzing metas that I think you're going to start to see continue to rise um, that kind of went away for a little bit, but I think are certainly making a comeback. And we're going to show this play out of verticals. You don't need any hot route master. You don't need any of that. Uh, I do have the bucks, but this is uh, you could do this out of a lot of different plays in the formation. Um, but verticals to me is a really effective variation of this because the verticals crosser is so deep it can get over the top of 30 yard clouds. If your opponent was to run some kind of double Mabel attack, um, this is really effective for that. Now, if you're watching this video and you want to get the full Gun Bunch offensive ebook, uh, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only ten dollars to sign up for that. It gets you access to all of my Man 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. We have three or four variations of Gun Bunch ebooks in there, and we have I think 18 total ebooks that we've done so far this year. And we're releasing a brand new ebook later this week. So if you want to get access to that, make sure you're in the Patreon. And uh, if you want to sign up, the link's in the description. So verticals is really good. And we're going to give you one of my new favorite setups. Um, this is just a really good read and progression system for your passing offense. And the setup is this. We're going to drag our tight end. We're going to slant our outside bunch receiver. And then we're going to block our running back. That's pretty much it. If you want to put your running back on an in route, you certainly can. Uh, some verticals already has him on this, depending on what playbook you're in. I'm in Detroit, um, but I love this play. I actually really like this play with my bunch to the short side so that the crosser has a lot of room to be able to get over the top of the coverage. But what you'll see right here is this quick throw to the to the tight end is really effective. Um, and you'll see this breaks down man coverage really well, and it has also breaks down uh, zone. So um, you'll see right here that why I like this crosser, or part of why I like this crosser, is because you'll see later, if I freeform down and outside, that is typically open. Um, if they do run like inside quarter with their match on, it can be kind of eh. But um, by and large, like this is really good. It's really good against cover three. I'll show you cover three here. Um, you'll see here, cover three. Just freeform that to the left. And you see how good, if he can catch the ball, he's wide open. Um, but you see how good this crosser can be. So this crosser just gets so deep down the field. I'm going to get to the cover two Mabel in a second because it's really, um, really, really well positioned to attack any kind of double Mabel defense. Um, but you'll see right here, here's cover three. There you see. Just want to ag that in the seam just like that. Now, if they do run cover two Mabel or... You know, something where we're going to double flat. Um, this is actually a really common defense right now because of the meta. You see here something like this. So we got two flats on both sides to guard against the underneath stuff. And now we're going to make the user choose, do you want to guard the slant or do you want to guard the crosser? We're going to snap the slant kind of right about here. And you've got to make a decision. You see right here the slant's open, so we take the slant. The slant is going to normally be open because they have to use or the, they really kind of have to um, use or deep, right? They really do. Uh, if you think about, you know, everything that's open in this play, they kind of have to use or deep down the field. So just keep that in mind. Um, you'll see right here, I'm going to try to just, again, just kind of mimic them trying to use or the slant. So if they use or the slant, then your tight end or uh, your crosser should be wide open. So you see right about here, if I freeform that to the left, that gets really nice separation against the defense. So you have the ability to attack pretty much every zone in the game really easily. And then from a man coverage perspective, these crossing routes are all really good. The quick throw drag is pretty good against man. Um, if you have short and elite on these players, it's going to make it even better. And then the crosser is really good against man as well. You'll see right here, um, you know, right on that cut, he's going to win. We're going to throw that right about there. And you see how good this crosser really is. This crosser is going to be one of the more underrated routes, I think, as we head to, like, the next portion of the Madden season. I do think you'll see this crosser start to become much, much more meta um, because it's so good against man and zone. It was good against man and zone last year. It runs really fast, which is another thing that's really helpful. Um, there's certain crossers that they kind of run like slower. 
this one runs pretty fast and let's see here just a quick snap see how quickly he can get separation and if you can add this in front of the third it makes it all a, a ton better so as you can see we're able to attack the defense in a variety of ways with this setup and then the other thing that i want to show you is again if they are using the crosser um which we'll try to imitate here if they're using this crosser the slant is a great little check down right there uh, you see how that kind of comes open in that little throwing lane or throwing window to be able to attack the defense. This new setup out of vertical is one last little piece on this. You can go ahead and run it like this where you use double slants, which I think is not terrible, especially against man. Um, you'll see that tight end slant route can really open some stuff up. If you wait long enough, this crosser will get over every zone drop in the game. I want to thank you for watching the video. If you want to learn more about the Gun Bunch offense and how to run it at the highest level, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only $10. It gets you access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive eBooks, including the, all of the different Gun Bunch eBooks that we released this year and any of the new stuff, any of the updates that we're going to be putting out. We're releasing a brand new eBook this week. And so you'll also get access to that as well. So if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.